bitch chain Too sexy for your game Too sexy for this fame Yeah, yeah I'm too sexy for the trap Too sexy for the cap Too sexy for the jack Yeah, yeah Hello guys, welcome to a new vlog. It is 10.03 in the morning, it's Wednesday, May 17th. Girls off of work today and off of work tomorrow. I'm finally off of work from working, I don't know how many days straight, like five I think, five or six. Yeah, and I'm finally off, I'm so tired. I was trying not to work yesterday, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and go to work and call it a day and then just be off today and I'm off tomorrow. So I'm so happy to be off. 10 o'clock in the morning, I've been up since like, 7 30 because of my boyfriend but yeah but i feel fine i feel energized i feel good so i'm happy about that um just now i was on the computer starting to export some footage i need to edit a video i'm gonna wait though probably do it tomorrow please ignore if i can see some of my little dandruff flakes from my hair i need to wash my hair i need to take me a shower but i'm waiting for the maintenance people from my apartment to come to fix the shower because it's been like filling up with water on the bottom so I'm waiting for them to come we put a request in i put that it was like you know high priority or whatever yeah i need to wash my hair and do it but the apartment's actually clean like this is rare for me to start a video and not be saying that i need to clean um of course there's still stuff i can clean or do but but i'm so excited y'all because oh my gosh i gonna go eat some crawfish later on so tonight we're gonna go eat some crawfish at this restaurant that we only go to to eat crawfish if that makes sense i vlogged there before we're super excited we invited our friends to come so i don't know if they're gonna come for sure yet or not but we did ask them you know we just we did tell them like they're welcome to come if they want to come so i'm also excited because I'm sure i've mentioned it before and i've showed y'all me playing it but i have a switch and I love my Switch and my favorite game of all time I've ever played on there. I haven't played a lot of games, so I don't even know, you know, at all games. But the games that I have played, my favorite game has been Zelda. I love that game. I'm so obsessed with it. And the new one just came out last week or the first week of May. And I've been watching gameplay on it and I want it so bad. And I think I'm going to go ahead and get it today. So I'm excited about that. But we'll see though. We'll see because it's not like a need right now, you know. But if I'm feeling the mood to where I convince myself to treat myself then yeah so yeah i haven't ate anything or anything i didn't take my supplements though i think i'll make this avocado toast i need to check the avocado though it was still good i hate mushy avocado i like my avocados to be a little firm Okay, hello guys, it's later now. It's now 11.42. Now it's 11.42 in the morning, almost afternoon time, and um, I ate my food, I continued watching YouTube, and then I checked on my exporting, um, my files that I'm exporting on my computer. That's done. Um, I'm not gonna edit today, I'll probably edit tomorrow, but as long as it's exported, that's good, because that takes some time usually yeah that's ready for me to edit so i'm happy about that i hope i just wake up in a good mood and i just get it done tomorrow because yeah but some time has passed now um the maintenance people came and they fixed the shower i'm so happy about that so i can go take me a shower now um i was just now watching a video on my ipad while i was cleaning i unloaded the dishwasher and i loaded it back up i have all these pots right here that i need to wash hand wash and oh i'm dreading it and then i need to put and i need to put these containers right there up into the cabinet anyways um i was gonna make me something like either a matcha or a coffee but i don't know what happened right after i ate my food i was sitting there and i just got like a huge headache and it's like right here like it's only just right here and it hurts it's like on and off it's not just like constant just hurting i think i'm gonna take something for it and i'm kind of nauseous i don't know what happened I don't know my supplements or what. I don't know what. But yeah, I'm just, I'm over it. But I'm gonna drink some water and I'm gonna take something and hopefully that goes away. But I'm gonna finish filling off the island. That's what I was doing um, before I like grabbed the camera out. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning the island and probably go take me a shower and everything. And I'll wash my hair and yeah. And I'll probably talk to y'all somewhere along the way. So 
Let's open up the blinds. It is such a beautiful day outside. It's so pretty outside. It's crazy because it was literally like thunderstorming crazy yesterday. Lately, I've been in such a like R&B mood. But anyways, let me finish doing all of this. Okay, done with my hair. I did most of my skincare out of the restroom. I just needed to put on my little like moisturizer, so I put that on. And yeah, I already know my hair's gonna come out good. I'm running out of this. Well, it's already, I ran out basically, so yeah. Hello guys, I puffed my hair up. Finally, it's fully dry. But it is now five and we are going to head out soon. My brother's in the shower. I'm gonna get dressed and I'm gonna head out. I'm super excited because I'm actually really hungry. I still have a headache. I took something, it went away, and now it's back. I don't know. But I'm excited to go eat. And I think we're gonna go to BJ's afterwards because uh, I haven't seen they have a birthday cake bazooki and I really want to try it so we're probably gonna go to the beaches afterwards but yeah I'm excited just to get out the house and just go eat and spend some time with my sweetheart and yeah um I don't know what I'm gonna throw on I'm thinking just my favorite shirt my gray one and maybe some biking shorts because I know it's hot outside and my foam runners because I don't know what else I will put on um I think give me a pedicure so I'm gonna have my toes out <laughs> Um, I could throw on some sneakers, like my Air Forces or something, but I don't know. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds to it, just these slides in both gears. Nice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck the night, I keep the quality in my shorty back. You know she wants a mom, but she tattooed that ass I'm a lover boy, she got a toys Keep it coming, you are Hello guys, good morning. It is the next day. It is early in the morning. I am so happy to be vlogging early with y'all. It's 8.41 in the morning. It's Thursday. It's the next day. As y'all know, last night we went like a little date night. Yeah, it was really fun. The food was really good. I don't know what was going on with me yesterday though. I felt like crap. Like, and I felt the worst afterwards like on the way home we went to heb really quick to get some ibuprofen and then came straight home but we were gonna go to target and go to walmart because we need light bulbs and i wanted to buy me some hair stuff and i forgot what else and we just didn't even end up doing that because yeah i don't know what it was that was so weird and i felt bad earlier that day and i think i told y'all but like i felt worse last night i don't know what it was so came home, laid down, just like laying on the couch when my boyfriend's watching the movie. And yeah, like when I was laying down, I was still, I felt fine. But once I moved, my head was just like pounding. So I guess it was a migraine. But I want to clean today. I want to open and unbox this um, thing I got from Ikea and try it out. And then, but yeah, I think we're going to make some Indian food tonight. Let's make some butter chicken. We haven't had that in a while. So I just pulled out some chicken thighs. I need to put them in some water. And I think we're gonna have some non bread with it and some rice. I'll probably go to Walmart later on because I need to get some hair stuff. Because my two like top products I always use, I don't have a, I don't don't have any. I ran out. So yeah, and then we need some freaking light bulbs for the restroom because that's so annoying. Two of them are going out. So if the last one starts blinking, we're out of there. So we need to get some light bulbs. I want to unbox this and see how this is. Because if it's sim simple and easy to use, I'm just going to mop. Like, literally. Or not mop, because I think it's more like a Swiffer. Because that's what I wanted to go get was a Swiffer. But we ended up going to Ikea that day, and I saw this. Um, if I didn't see this, I would have bought me a Swiffer. Yeah, if it's easy to use and everything, I'm just going to mop. Because, yeah, we should have mopped, like, a long time ago, honestly. So, so for the people who've been in watching for a while um we had one of the mops with like the pump that like you know blows the liquid off of it or whatever the spin mop but we left it outside and freaking birds were sleeping on our balcony and started pooping inside the bucket and on the mop so never used it again but, oh my gosh it comes with everything let me show y'all this is everything that comes in it so it's a lot of stuff so don't know what this is for but it's short is this to hang it? 
<gasps> That's cool if that is what that is. And then we have this. When I saw this attachment, I was like, oh, I can use this for the uh, shower. I think basically you wash it yourself and yeah, I think we wash it ourselves if we use it and we fill it with whatever we choose to fill it, like whatever cleaner. So cool. Okay, okay. And then it also came with this and I just literally bought one not too long ago from, I think Dollar Tree if I'm not mistaken. No, I got a squeegee from Dollar Tree or I think it was Dollar Tree. Um, But this one's cool because it has this attachment. So you use this to clean the shower and then you go like this. So that's pretty cool. So if I would've known, I wouldn't have got that squeegee, but it's okay. And then we have this, which I'm pretty sure is a duster to dust. And I guess you just insert it somewhere. Oh, right here. But yeah, I really wanted this too because it's going to be on this long thing. So we can really use it to get the dust off the ceiling fans. So yeah, I just saw so many reasons why to get this. So I'm glad. But I think I am going to use this. Honestly, let's see how this goes. Does this extend? Oh, it does extend. Okay. Oh yeah, this is going to be nice. This is gonna be so nice. Okay, I think I'm gonna do it, y'all, honestly. Um, so I have to start moving stuff around, like our shoes, putting them up. But okay, I'm gonna leave this right here. I don't know what to put. I have Fabuloso, but like Fabuloso is just, that smell is just so strong. I'm excited to use this, y'all. Like, I am so excited, oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna go and move everything around like I said I was, and I'm gonna just get to sweep it and see how it turns out. Okay, I just swept again really quick especially like under the bar stools okay i just finished mopping swifting whatever i'm gonna just say mopping i just finished mopping and so far i do like it i feel like it did clean up um, some like little small spots that were like I guess a little stubborn but the spots that are like really stubborn I had to like really just like push down hard and really you know because the pad on there is really soft it's like microfiber and it's soft but it did pretty good like not gonna lie it did pretty good and now I'm just waiting for the floor to dry but I'm happy and it smells so good in here from the Fabuloso. But yeah, I know when I first started, um, so I ended up just wetting it and then pouring the Fabuloso on there. And when I first did the first part that I vlogged, um, the section that y'all seen, um, that was from me just soaking it in water and also pouring the Fabuloso on there. So of course it was a lot and it was way more. And then the rest of the way, I just like poured Fabuloso on the floor because I don't know how else I was going to do it. Um, so yeah, this part where I, the part that I showed y'all was like super wet and then all around it was just like normal wet how it should have been if that makes sense. So, but yeah, I like it so far. I'm happy with it. Um, I also want to use it to dust, but I don't know if I want to do that myself or not. Um, it's tall enough to like reach up there and do it. But the only thing is like, I always struggle with the bed. But yeah, now I'm just waiting for the floor to dry. I put a YouTube video on, I'm just going to watch it until... The floor is done drying and then after that i'm probably gonna get to editing so i probably won't talk to y'all until i don't know when later maybe when i take a break and i make me a smoothie um but yeah for now i'm just gonna let it dry wait for it to dry watch youtube get to editing and i'll definitely update y'all along the way or later on okay hey guys it's later now it is 11 51 and i am about to oh my gosh the sun is beaming I'm about to make me a smoothie because I am hungry, so, but yeah, I've been editing for, I don't know how long it's been, I can't remember what the time was the last time I started talking to y'all, but I've been editing for a little minute and I've got a lot done, I'm going pretty fast, so I'm happy about that, um, I think I'm going to be able to post it today. I have my smoothie cup right here, and I do like, oh they smell really sweet, and I'm going to put two of these. And then I'm going to add some of this vanilla almond milk and I think that's it. I don't can't remember last time I just made a simple smoothie like this. I'm still obsessed with these cups, y'all. Like, I literally put everything in these cups. If they're not clean, I use my other ones, the ones, I was, uh, the ones I was obsessed with before these. I wonder if it's, like, sweet or not. So far, so good. What a simple smoothie. I taste more banana than strawberry, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to it so I can just tackle this and get it done 
and I will just talk to y'all probably once I'm done. Hello guys, it is now 1234. I'm gonna go ahead and get to making the banana bread. I'm excited y'all. Okay, um, this girl posted like everything she used just like on the screen, so I just took a screenshot and I'm gonna just do it. So yeah, I got the bananas, white sugar, half a cup of butter, half a cup of brown sugar, and two eggs. And this is not half a cup, but I'm gonna use this. The rest, I'm gonna use this. And then vanilla extract. I have this imitation. That's what we always buy because the freaking normal one is so expensive. I need to just buy some though and just, yeah. I did have some real uh, vanilla, but I used all that first and I've been left with this one. I don't want this to go to waste, so. Grab a bowl. I don't know how many times I've said this before, but when I say I love these bowls, like, We've used these bowls so much. If we didn't have these bowls, like, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's dramatic or not, but I'm going to use this size. I think it's a good size. And her recipe is, like, for it to be, like, all one bowl, so that's even better. Oh, I just discovered that there actually are more ingredients. She just put them later on in the vlog. She just put them later on in the video, but it's fine because I have all that stuff, so that works out, too, as well. So, preheat the oven, 355, and I'm going to go melt this really quick. I'm melting the butter. I'm going to do the eggs. I'm putting the butter. I'm so dumb. I didn't even put the bananas first. Lord Jesus. Okay. Let's add the bananas. And let's just mash it. But now let me finish adding the vanilla extract. I'm going to just eyeball it. I always add extra vanilla. I love vanilla. And then half a cup of milk. I'm gonna add that in. Okay, and I need one and a half cup of flour. I need some cinnamon. I'm gonna go ahead and add the cinnamon since it's right here. So, ooh, that's probably more than enough. One fourth teaspoon of baking powder. I need just the flour and that's it. And I'm gonna get the sifter. And the oven is ready. I'm going to sift it. Oh, Lord. Oh, that was the sugar. I'm like, what is that? I probably should have mixed this before I added the but the flour and then mixed it with the flour. But it's okay. i seen a girl sprinkle brown sugar on top to have like a brown sugar to uh, crust on top. So I'm going to do that too as well. put some brown sugar so done with the banana bread mixture and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven it said 40 to 55 minutes that's a big range but I guess I'm starting with 40 see how it looks check up on it and I'll do longer if I feel like it needs longer um and yeah so I'll probably give y'all an update once I'm done with this here is the banana bread I'm gonna cut it and taste it this is my first time ever making banana bread it looks fudgy hold up mm. Mm. this is so good just got done with the video it was like super easy to edit and it is now 2.50. I think I'm gonna finish watching the YouTube video that I was watching and just chill, actually sit back and relax instead of just being on the computer.
I'm about to finish go take a shower and I think we're gonna start to watching The Good Doctor. We've been talking about it for a while and I keep putting it to the side. So I think now we're finally just gonna go sit down and start watching it, see if we like it or not and see if it's gonna be our new show to watch. But yeah, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and close this vlog out. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for being here and watching. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe, join the channel, join the family. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.